What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into a story time that Honey Sauce sent me. <coughs> I gave birth. <coughs> I give birth in 15 days and found out my husband is cheating again. Okay. I give birth in 15 days and I just found out my husband's cheating on me this morning. Ooh. I'm not really too fucked up about it because... Oh, where am I? Mean, I? You cheated on me for like five years now, so it's like, you know, the usual, usual kind of thing. <sighs> I don't know why I'm going to play with spiritual women. Like, sir, I feel it. Hello. And I literally been telling him, every time you cheat, I feel it. I think that he think that I'm exaggerating. Like, sir, don't you realize every time you get caught, you get caught. I feel it. And we've been together for five years. Like, sir, I there's the pattern we have. I just need to show her head, unfortunately, y'all. Uh, clearly for obvious reasons. Yeah. We go to sleep every night together. So the minute something's out of order, yeah, somebody's going to clock it. Anyway, <laughs> story goes, y'all. I have been having a sensation for quite some time. Not really. I lie. It's probably been a week. I've just been having a strong, strong, strong sensation. But the sensation got crazy last yesterday. Like, it was strong yesterday. Uh -huh. Mind you, I am giving birth in 15 days. So, honestly, even though I could have, like, been trying to find out and, like, get evidence. Y'all yeah, in criminal justice. I don't know how to act. <laughs> like, everything's <laughs> defended, protected, defective. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways y'all <laughs> i really wanted to scope for real like oh, oh i'm also going to school for medical assistance so everything is scope of practice around here too <laughs> but i've been really wanted to find out but i'm like man i'm giving birth in 15 days like i don't want to like ruin this moment because i lord every time i i go searching for something i find it mm -hmm. mind you this shit just is but it was on my chest like when it's something heavy it's like oh it just wouldn't let up off of me so boom it started off yesterday no it actually been started first of all he changed our sex position he started like doing some monkey ass gorilla shit on me and i'm just like what the f is this like let me i want to show y'all what the f he started doing okay i'm gonna put this phone up so i can roll the tape <laughs> Friend, I see why he cheated. I forgot you pregnant. So you you kind of just got away with something. Because, I mean, you out of breath. You just got up on the bed, friend. I forgot she was pregnant, y'all. <clears throat> but golly. <laughs> uh -uh. We don't do that. I mean, that wasn't nothing but a little bending over. And he just put the leg up. <laughs> Am I tripping? Bend over right quick. Let me put my leg up. <laughs> what was, what was so like? Okay, that's uh, uh. Okay, as mentioned in the last part, it started off with the sex positions changing. I didn't know if he was just trying to induce my labor or he just was like. Trying to be a little more adventurous when it comes to sex. <laughs> some kinky shit, I don't know. Kinky? So, boom. <laughs> yesterday, um, really, things just been going through my head, but yesterday was like the trigger of it all for real. Because yesterday he came and he immediately took a shower. Oh, now, that can be normal. It's just like it was just the vibration, the energy. Did y'all know we were? If I worked out, well, sometimes, sometimes not because I got to work. <laughs> of energy and dirt. Yeah. And then vibrations was vibrating. It, it wasn't a regular kind of shower. So I ended up cooking. I cooked some cornbread, green beans, and baked chicken yesterday. And y'all know the little mittens you use to pick up the pan? Like, I was looking for them. And I had remember I had did laundry uh, this week, and I had left them in the dryer. So I go to get the mittens out the dryer, and he immediately runs in the bathroom to get the phone. So I mumbled. I'm like, yeah, I know he grabbed that phone. Then he up to something. So then I come out the bathroom. He's like, what you said? And then I, I, I don't know if I repeat exactly what I said, but I said something along the lines about something about that phone. And he got real, like, defensive and, like, started going off. I'm like, yeah, he doing something. <sighs> Dude, we got to sleep because you we got to sleep together. So now we're going to sleep. And it's just like, he cannot, he is, like, sleeping one eye open. I feel like every time I move left, he move right behind me. Like, this mother, it just felt like he couldn't sleep. Like, he was, like, antsy. Like, if he just knew I was going to go grab that phone. And while the I was like, baby, when I say I want to crawl, 
jump, hop, scop up, up, up on his side of the bed to go get that phone. Like everything in me just wants to get that phone. But my job- Friend, you couldn't even pick yourself up to get on that bed. Yeah? I know you ain't gonna jump, hop, stop, nothing. I give him birth in 15 days. So I'm at the same time like, man, I don't really wanna do that because I don't really wanna hurt my own feelings. And you know what they say, like, don't really go through a man's phone because, like, you're f yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want to look like a f***ing <laughs> So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to go through his phone. I'm going to leave it alone. So I put myself to the, I put myself to bed. I watched me some cornstarch bed videos, and I put myself to bed. Cornstarch videos? Coming. Did she say cornstarch videos? So when I woke up, um, I woke up like four minutes after the alarm went off. Now, mind you, I stay at home. I don't really do too much because I am giving birth. She did. Weeks, so I sit around a lot. But I still make it my business to do duties around the house. And I also make it my business to wake my husband up for work. But this time, things were starting to like change up within the, like the last two weeks. That's why I say like stuff had been changing, but like I really wasn't putting pressure on it. Because last week, he had the same exact work schedule. He had to be to work for 6.30. Now... If he wakes up around five, his job is literally 36 minutes exactly away. But if he was to wake up a little after five and have to be at work for 630, his job, because it's in Boston, the traffic do get crazy. His job will be around an hour away. So him leaving like an hour early for work, it just made complete sense. Even though he had to drive 30 minutes, but it makes sense because a minute late, he'll be in an hour traffic. Cool, 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 cool. What's tripping on that? But then today, something special happened. Actually, I but this week something special happened. I want to say it was either Monday or Tuesday. This motherfucker started waking up at 4 o'clock. And I'm like, the fuck? You waking up an extra hour before the wake up time. Like, <laughs> mind you, I waking up. So the problem was this morning, the 5 o'clock alarm went off. Mind you, I started because I did stay up late because I was contemplating on beating the shit out of him and taking his phone. So I didn't go to sleep till about 3 o'clock. But I still woke the fuck up. It was full of my it was four minutes after five i turn over i'm like trying to pat him like babe wake up he's up he's going so i'm thinking nothing of it because i'm in my mind i'm so tired i'm like well maybe he in the shower maybe he got up like 10 minutes before the alarm and you know start getting ready but then y'all know i'm pregnant i pee a lot so i'm like i gotta pee real bad so i got up to pee and i realized oh this man is gone like he's Damn. out the house so mind you their pattern didn't start until this week when he's talking to getting up at the four o'clock thing and it's crazy because before i could ask i'm pretty sure he had sensed that i had a problem with that so he already told me that he was getting up at four o'clock and leaving two hours early for work Ow! because he had no parking he had, it was some parking he needed mind y'all 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 do my little detective do the investigation he worked at four 480 Naposa in Kent, massachusetts the building is a parking lot so how the f you ain't got parking i've been with you for five wait whoa, whoa, what parking he had, it was some parking he needed mind y'all 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 do he needed some parking leaving. two hours early for work because he had no parking oh he gotta leave two hours in advance to get a parking spot <laughs> yeah it was some parking he needed mind y'all 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 do my little detective do the investigation he worked at four 480 naposa in Kent, massachusetts the building is a parking lot so how the f you ain't got parking I've been with you for five years. I've been at a job for four. You ain't got parking. There's no parking. Okay. So that was the biggest red flag. So boom. Mind you, like I said, he was gone. I do have his GPS, but because I got y'all not to my own feelings, I didn't want to check it. I don't really check his GPS. So I ended up checking the GPS and come to find out to my surprise, this is at work. He's like at the location at work. So I'm like, the wake up time just... The, the wake up time is five of eight. Look, it's here and you at the job already so what time did you leave it took 30 minutes like you was up mad early and you was gone mind you i am very traumatized by this like this man has cheated on me in every which way in the book well we see why lord knows we see why bro. i'm traumatized this man is sneaky like he is real life a sneaky rat part four coming <sighs> Hell, you keep letting them know what the fuck. Damn, I got part five. I don't have part four.
Oh, because part four ain't there. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know why I left off at, but after looking at his GPS, he was at work, right? Okay, cool. So now my whiskers that I don't have Thank you, honey, to son. grow and like it went crazy. And I'm like, yeah, a little bit. He, he's doing something. Find out now. So I first, mind you, I do have his old Facebook on my phone because oh. I did like revoke his access. No, he's not a child. He's a grown ass man, but he's a man with no privilege around this man considering everything he has done to me. So I go to his old Facebook and I'm like looking at his dating profile. Well, it doesn't exist, but I was looking for a dating profile. And I was going to like look at if as if like he had a new account and I was going to like, because I know if I had looked on my account, he's probably going to delete anything that attaches to my name. He's going to like block the page. So I looked from his account. But the way Facebook dating is set up, even once you put preferences in, it's just going to make you keep scrolling like either like or dislike. It doesn't give you like a list like his other favorite apps. So that, that shit was just not a great resource. So then I proceeded to download his favorite two apps of them all. POF and Fag. And that's when she got real. So I made a con call. Gotcha. Literally, y'all. Y'all should see the pictures. I'm going to post the screenshot of how like the picture is. I was like, you know, gotcha. Okay, so this is the account I made, and um, clearly y'all can see this is my spot. It's probably why he cheating on me now. And I just want to fuck y'all up so earlier. And um, clearly y'all can see this is my spot. It's probably why he cheating on me now. This is her spot. You can. See, that's probably why he cheated on me now. So I was like, you know, gotcha. Okay, so this is the account I made, and um, clearly y'all can see this is my spot. It's probably why he cheating on me now. But she said one spot. Y'all up so early. Are y'all getting cheated on too? Uh. But no, all jokes aside, so I made the account right. So I made a fake age because I know he like older women than me. Like just based off of like the previous experiences we had, you know, they're they're always typically older than me. So I have to put twenty eight. I'm twenty five. <laughs> this is just embarrassing. <laughs> like this is not funny. It's like embarrassing, but y'all not even too fucked up about it. Like this is sad. So boom. Based off our experiences, I first then proceeded to put the preference at his uh job zip code, which I believe is zero two one two nine. And I put a fifteen to twenty mile radius because the last altercation we had where he cheated on me, um, the girl was like in New Hampshire, which is close to his job, and he was talking about linking up with her at I guess with his work truck at his job or whatever to smoke with her. So to my surprise I didn't find nothing. But my instinct just did, would not let out. It was like there's something out there. Go find it. Part five coming up. <laughs> I feel like he need to let her go. <laughs> He's not happy, obviously. So like I was saying, first of all, I'm going to sue the fuck out of Apple because now they starting to glitch my phone and it ain't a scratch on its phone. It's no way this should be glitching. And I also fucked up. That was supposed to be part four and it's supposed to be part five. Ugh, everything going wrong telling the story. This is going to be part six. I don't care. I'm just going to keep proceeding. So because I couldn't find a um, I couldn't find him using his uh work zip code, you know, and I, I like I said, I just knew like my instinct wouldn't let up, like there's something out there. And just based off our previous experiences, like in the way he's moving, I'm like, bro, he's doing something. I just need to find out what the something is this time. So um I ended up changing the zip code. He always will tell me I had so many apps open it actually worked. My phone stopped freezing. Thank you, babe. Now I can tell your story. So yeah, so this time I put that um he was in Brockton because I started to think how I think. Like that is true. You gotta think how a man think. Like to be successful with a man, think how he think. So I started to think about towns that he usually like emphasize on. You know, like we in Boston. So I was like, yeah, he talks about Dorchester because like he got a favorite Jamaican spot over there. But I know he wouldn't talk to a bitch from Dorchester. You know what I'm saying? And I know his usual casual hood that he used to live in was Brockton. So I'm like the next town over that's close to like his work area or somebody I felt like he would have talked to and kind of town girl thingy it would have been Brockton so I changed the location to Brockton Massachusetts I also changed the age because I know like he don't lie about his age but he lies about his age like he'll change he'll he'll create a different kind of age because he know that because we have previous experiences where I had to do this same exact method before um he'll put a different age so he, you know it doesn't generate to my account you know like if he put that he's actually 33 and this and that that, at least that's how I was thinking. But to my surprise, he, he, he didn't do too much to this time. 
So after putting in Brock in and I put his age range, he's 33, so I put 30 to 35. Long behold, guess who pops up? My handsome ass husband. Ooh, it's the most wonderful time up. I'm going to up real bad. Wait till you get home tonight. JK, he ain't got a home. So, kind of fine. He did put his real age. I actually took this photo. This is why I tell him today. I'm traumatized. I do not like taking photo of him. I boosted his confidence for five years, and this is what he do. It's like he still seek attention from outside of the home. I can't do it no more. I'm traumatized. Like this. Well, friend, you gotta be able to at least get up. <clears throat> this is a great day. You use this as your profile picture. That's up. Also, Attleboro, this is the last time we moved. And if you really watch me consistently, you'll know that this is the time the house we left because we was arguing, fighting behind him, cheating. But yes, y'all, that's my handsome husband on POF, his favorite website, looking for another woman, talking to other women. But it gets better. Part seven comes soon. Um, <laughs> I guess that was it. Uh, we never got to part seven. Okay. Wait, this is part six. Okay, y'all, this is the last part. So, after finding him on the app and, like, getting what I was looking for, <coughs> I proceeded to text this man, y'all. Like, you know, just let him know, hey, I found... Your account, I know you're doing something now. Don't come back to the house. Da, da, da. First of all, I want to address the fact that he got 19. Oh, now we see what he look like. Like, that mean you been on this app. Like, you been active. 19 different women decide to let you know you handsome that they took the time to like your profile. 19. This page ain't new. You ain't new to this. You true to this. All right. Friend, out of okay, so talking the talking laying down. Is, is the justice, uh, I believe he's the defendant. I'm the prosecutor. It states that he was active two hours ago. Mind you, that's six o'clock. What, what time did I tell y'all my husband left for work? He, clock it. He That alarm did not go off to five o'clock. That's the typical usual time he has to wake up. My husband was gone off this house at four something. Okay, so I ended up texting him, you know, all of, I don't know what's going on, on my phone or TikTok. This shit is bugging though, but bro. Anyways, he ended up typing. Okay, so I just told him like don't type, don't come to the house, da da da. I'm just aggravated about it. But I never told him like don't don't even type back, you know, don't come to the house, don't do shit, like just leave me alone, stuff like that. He stopped typing, he hasn't responded, he hasn't said nothing. I do have You told him to stop. GPS, I'm pretty sure he where I haven't looked at his GPS. Honestly, no, I'm not too far behind it. I cannot cry. I can be sad. I don't know. I'm just numb to the shit. I've been through it for so long. Okay, y'all, this is the last part. So, after finding him on the app and, like, getting what I was looking for, I proceeded to text this man, y'all. Like, you know, just let him know, hey, I found hmm. Okay, y'all, hold on, because I'm I'm a little shaking because I'm about to get a little, I'm about to get a little fucked up. Tell me why I just remember on September 25th, this came to his email because I do have his email. Shauna S is asking for $22 for travel. That's a specific thing she's asking for. And considering my husband has been caught paying for the Ussie before, which is something else I'm traumatized behind. I remember asking him about this and I'm like, who the fuck is Shauna S? Shauna S, oh, I don't know. Then she asked for $22. That's a specific number. You didn't have to remain to balance, my guy. Travel. Maybe her tank was already full. She needed to be topped off. I don't know. No. Right. Okay, y'all, hold on. Bob, and pick my car up. Yeah, this and I'm like, who the f is Shana? Shana is. Oh, I don't know. Then she asked me for twenty two dollars. That's a specific number. You didn't have to remain to balance, my guy. Travel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This man been playing in my face. So on today's itinerary, I'm about to go to his job and pick my car. Y'all, he's cheating because he obviously does not give a damn. If you, not have, if you have not discussed something with your partner to where 
Your partner's like, listen, you can go ahead and go out and do you because I can't give you what you need right now. People actually have these real life conversations. Not her. Mm -mm. He cheating on her ass. He's sick of her ass and he's doing it intentionally and he don't give a damn. Hello. All right. Up. Uh, yes, my car. I'm also about to go see how this whole child support stuff or deal finna go out because clearly this is not going to work. I just and she's got definitely letting them a domestic violence case dismissed literally two weeks ago huh two weeks ago Damn, you couldn't hold up a month i'm gonna go pick up those paperwork actually i think i have the paperwork showing that we had domestic violence problems starting with because you were cheating hold on y'all can pause and read this screenshot this i think this was the report because my judy we can't pause and read if you don't get your thick head out the way get out the way She getting on my damn. She getting on my goddamn too. <laughs> Jesse, how we gonna read the shit if her thick ass ass in the way? Huh, bro? Coming in, I think they state that in this report. I don't know which report this. We had several, but I think this is the one where they state we had several. And I think this pause and read and just sit right in the middle. Of Right in the middle. I lied to the cops about him and who he was because I didn't want to get him in trouble. But somewhere in there, I think it states that he was cheating. I don't know if it was this page or the next one. I just don't even feel like reading. But this goes to show, see, Attleboro Police, I had to get the statement because I also had to file a restraining order on him um, that eventually ended. Oh, yeah. See that third paragraph? See, we'll now we can't see your thick ass finger in a way. Officers entered the apartment building through the rear side door and proceeded to the second floor. Officers knocked and announced out of whatever police department several times loudly with no answer. Officers did not hear any noise coming from the inside of the apartment, but could see light from the inside of the apartment coming through and the bottom gap of the door between the door and the floor. Officers left the residence through uh, the side entrance leading into the driveway officer stopped in the driveway and looked up the second floor window and observed a black female party later from the second floor, uh, apartment. Oh, wait, identify as Lachelle Allen and move the curtains out of the window. Officers waved the wave to Lachelle to come down from the second floor apartment. Lachelle met officers at the side entrance. We, sh where I guess she spoke with them. Lachelle stated she she did not answer the door because she did not want her husband to get into trouble, and that also is why she told the officer earlier 7 Beacon Street was further down. Verbal arguing about him cheating, da, 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 da. And then here she go, just hops right back on the receipts. So when I say yes, I've been going through this for five years. Yes, I, I actually mean that. I mean that for real, for real. <sighs> Applaud to me. Because this is what y'all call black woman strength, right? <laughs> yeah, no. And him being a foreigner, let me tell you. This is I, stupid. <laughs> they feel hard. They feel hard. And I, this is, I hope these don't get to Kamala, but this is why I don't want to vote for Kamala because this is what she's going to do. She's going to allow these immigrants to come over here. And as that man stated last night, them, push, them people push them fat now. And he also do this. They are also, they ain't no better they have children with us and then they leave us for dirt the only thing that these foreigners are good for is making the money and even as an american that's still bad for us because how the f are you gonna get a job yeah think a little deeper than that you going back home my guy you lucky you a f citizen because your sister is an fbi for the new york people i will say y'all um a lot of people saying that they want to vote for trump because well it's a lot of black men saying that they want to vote for trump because they don't have no jobs I don't know if y'all been seeing that around, but yeah, because if, if I had to, oh, he better know. Oh, he do know. Actually, I called the people. I forgot the people. Called, I called the, the embassy, and I told them he was doing stuff, even though he wasn't doing nothing. But I was trying to get his ass deported. I just wanted to know what I got to do. Not trying, not you trying to go to jail. Talking about even though he wasn't crazy. The steps I need to take, cause you going back home, big fella. Uh huh, big fella. You're, you're taking that ass back to Jamaica. But I got to get ready for my neurology appointment, y'all, to make sure I can push our baby out without dying because I get fluids in my brain. But, you know, as long as Shauna get her $22 for travel. 
life's good in your book, huh? And then your ass gonna get back on that hour ago. So you was on that bag 39. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to pack your shit for real. Expeditely. Just look at you. Expeditely. When a man show you who he, what he is the first time, believe it. My show me 300. And clearly. Here they I go. Giving us, giving us a. Uh... They always, people got to always take us to school when they learn some shit. I did it. But still be going through it. And believe him until now. Yeah. Such is my girl. Like, how you going to invest in my criminal justice detective career to do this to me? I'm going to you up. Mm. This is what you do to your family. You had 15 days until your son, your firstborn son will be here. And this is what you do to the mother. Considering you don't even raise your other two girls. Because of this behavior. You think that you're still 12, don't you? You think you're a f***ing bop and bop. You f Ugh. Now my next question is, do this boy deserve you in his life? I don't want him to be raised like you. And I stated that this whole She is crashing all the way out. In pregnancy. He don't need you. The hell? I don't want him to be like you. I want him to be better than you. I actually want him to cherish women. We go through enough. We go through enough. Because it starts with your behavior. With men like you who think and act like you. And then as a black woman, when we react, we get, we, we get torn down lower and lower and lower. The only way we can be high up is if we raise our own. Keep, and keep our own crown up. Because apparently, giving y'all access to do so, y'all fellas every time. But I actually want my son to be the king. I want him to be that, that one percentage that can hold a woman's standards high. He can hold that woman's crown. You have to hold your standards high, huh? You need to hold your standards high. At the very middle of her head. I would want him to call you a bitch, but I don't even gonna want him to disrespect his elders. And every time I look at you, I see death. <sighs> then you play about your life like shit funny, like you. <sighs> yeah, I'm just mad. Let me shut up. I'm about to go get ready to shut up. I'll call y'all back. If this is the young lady, Shana what? S, that reported that wanted $22 from him for travel, no wonder he was coming in here acting like a animal dog styling me like that because she looked like she with the shit like that like she looked like she give procedures like that but this is my last message and this that's this a procedure woman to woman why you bringing her in this It's so bad. She called it a procedure. This is, I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm going I'm to handle it in private. Y'all, no matter how much beautiful you are, it can happen to you. Now, don't be stupid like me. I ain't saying that can happen to you. Don't be, don't be as stupid as me. I got married to a man. I thought I was living a fairy tale, the happy dream. Marriage does not guarantee a thing. And it don't matter if I got married young or old, just for the, to be like, oh, you got married young. No, because I'm, I ain't going to say too much, but I know motherfuckers with careers, degrees, big homes and cars and kids. And that motherfucker cheating on her the same way mine cheating on me. Crazy, right? So keep them opinions low vibrational, okay? Anyway, like I said, it don't matter if you get married to me. It don't matter if you been with him XYZ. It don't matter how pretty. It don't matter if you got a BBB, I mean BBL. Girl, there is no stipulations on keeping a fucking man. Okay, you can suck him every night. He's still gonna want more. You know what I have calculated over the last five years as well? I have known over four men who have uh, been allowed the reasons into their relationship. They were blessed, including my husband. They were blessed with women who like women. Two bad kissing in the backseat type of vibe. And them men still went out and cheated. Now, I think that that's crazy. Like, if if the woman's saying to you, like, hey, we could do this. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even tripping. You know, I don't mind bringing whoever in. 
And you still cheat? <laughs> what do we know? <laughs> Nick, get her ass off the screen, please. Okay, we about to wrap it up, Fred. We just got, we just, just deal with love, but a couple of more minutes. Include my husband. Like, I promise you, there is nothing we can do. <laughs> I'm really not taking this situation serious. Like, it's actually kind of scared me. I need to figure this out immediately. Really ain't a lot to figure out. It's really self-explanatory. Baby, I need to do me. I just need to do me. Not do me like in essence, but like really just focus on me. But I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. It's hard. It's easy said than done. So like, and because I'm a woman, like let me let me tell you how my life is a blessing. We first. knew you weren't going away. I literally stated myself, I do not have friends because I don't want friends. Not because I can't, because I don't want to. Because I have a great personality and I, I'm really a great person in real life. But I just choose not to want friends more because I deal with this kind of man. So I got I got to keep that shit a distance. And then too, I just I you don't can't have anymore. friends because he gonna. Try and smash your friends. Y'all be dealing with that? <laughs> no. Yeah, like, I really enjoy my own space. I just, I get distracted easy and I do have a lot of goals to accomplish. So I try to, I tend to study myself. Which, ultimately, can be a blessing because, you know, it, it helps me focus. I can learn myself. Da, 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 da. But at the same time, when shit like this happen, when you do have the people that's in your circle and then, you know. Oh. If this is the young lady, I learn myself, da, 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 da. but at the same time, when shit like this happens, when you do have the people that's in your circle and then, you know, you know, they start f***ing up, it's like, kind of need that outer to, like, be able to talk to and, like, really kind of help you rejuvenate. But I'm bright style because I'm spiritual, baby. Who got me? The higher, not her. Let me check this off. Hold on. I'm taking the shit. But God got me. God got me, y'all. And like I said, it's my last message. I'm not speaking on it no more. I'm going to it in private, and I'm going to pray to God. Watch me step back and step harder. Because <laughs> I'm that girl. Bah! Oh, girl. You better hold your head up high. He done blocked me on his tagged account. You know your worked out here. Okay. Oh, you ain't got a mama. I just induced labor. He's on the way. What? Okay, so update child. So he came home and I said I wasn't gonna cry because the fuck new update eight minutes times two. Fuck, I don't want to cry, but he basically came home trying to like it's like you don't understand the principle and the concept. Like you know you're not supposed to be on the app. Like it's not. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. He done came home gaslighted her and she. <laughs> She was fine. <laughs> be downloaded. And the only thing he fights for is what he's doing on the app. Like, he thinks that if he tells me why he's on the app, what he's doing on the app, and that he's telling the truth of why, what's happening on the app, that justifies the whole thing, and I shouldn't be mad. And this is the same shit he did last time, except last time he actually was conversating with a young lady that he was trying to link up with. It was like, oh, I'm trying to link, with her, link up with her as in a friend way. Like, are you goofy? You were not supposed to even have the app downloaded. Mind you, I explained to him the only way you can bypass the app is by putting your single. So you're lying. If you put you a married man, you are not allowed on the people's community. That app is strictly for dating. Like, it's not for married. It's not even for married people. Even if me and you wanted to do it together. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. So I thought it ended there because I'm just like telling him, screaming at him, like, leave me alone. You acting stupid and you really trying to manipulate me again. <laughs> So, boom, I started doing my hair, you know, so I'm getting a little, a little tired of doing my little nappy nap, my little one-two. So I come here and I'm telling him, like, obviously, like, I'm going to put stipulations in this mother And that's, your, that's how I know you're too comfortable. You like, Not still putting stipulations. Girl, you already got stipulations. He going to cheat. Stop trying to put stipulations on people. They grown. If he gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. Figure out what you gonna do. Yo, when I say the pattern You cannot put a stipulation on a grown ass person, y'all. I don't know. Blowing my mind how a person can do the same thing over and over. Like, you don't even try to switch the shit up. The only thing you switching up is your excuses and your fucking lies. Like, I don't get it. Like, oh my God, I didn't want to do this.
Bro, and I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm just more like angry. You know, when you're angry and you can't do nothing about it, like, it's that kind of anger. Like, like, mm. <laughs> so boom. So I'm telling him, like, sir, you and this motherfucker comfortable laying down with your robe on. Like, get the fuck out. Get the fuck up and get the fuck out so all i asked him was to go on the couch so i'm like yo just like go on the couch like no you're not gonna lay in this bed like no like it's none of that you're, you're finna be very uncomfortable and i was like give me my f keys mind you the f car is in my name this house is in my f name yes we're married but because we had domestic violence cases why i was able to get the blessings i i have i was not supposed to be with him i been was supposed to leave him but because i keep having faith in this marriage and i really want my son and my have to have a well at this point it's really your fault ain't it friend a father and i know i needed i felt i'm not gonna say i need because really i didn't i just didn't believe in myself enough but i we felt know. like i needed support so i just was like bro like let me just like keep pushing it and through with him so boom he's sitting on the couch you know cool he got on the couch you know he's doing his dizzy he on the phone with his brother now, mind you, I'm not trying to eat y'all, but he, he's talking decent enough so I can hit through the door. And, like, obviously, he's telling her, telling him about the situation. Like, yo, she's mad at me, da-da-da. But this is the part that triggers me because it's like he does this shit every time. He gets on the phone with people who validates his shit. Boosts his ego, and then he comes back home and act like he's okay with what he done because around him making him feel like it's okay. And, of course, this is, this is coming from men who don't even love their own women. Men who don't cherish women. Like, what the f Like, so I'm mad because I'm like, you're sitting here lying. Blind like, leading the blind. Say, oh, she mad because I was on the app, but she got, she got these apps. Like, and that's how he said it. So you're interpreting as if, like, it's the way you're interpreting because you're trying to play victim as f to these people. You're not interpreting what f app you're on. You're on a dating app. Then you're telling him I got apps like, tell him I got Instagram, Snapchat. So that is social media. That's, that's social media. What the f***? What? So now you're letting me know you can't even take accountability still. You still would not take accountability. He was never able to take accountability, friend. Accountability, you still cannot tell the people the truth. Like, and it's just like, bro, when I say I'm triggered, I'm frustrated. I'm done with him. So I'm telling him, like, bro, nah, you got to get out the house. Because I'm not, you still... Don't get it. Oh, like, she is up. Right. Like, you still don't get it. Or, like, do you get it? You just don't care. Like, yeah. Are you stupid or slow? Like, Neither. I don't even answer, yo, because I know the answer to the question. So I'm like, bro, I'm Oh, mad. she crying. Like, mind you, he's a big guy. So, like, he likes to get real rotty and he's. Domestic violence to me already, so it's like, friend, you not a hundred pounds. Uh, you can't just be out here thinking you about to haul off and hit him either. Like, let this n go for you be in jail. I really don't trust him. I got a baby in me. I don't. He's unpredictable. And you know what he did to domestic violence? The only thing he says, I blacked out, and like if it was like norms, like he he don't he blacked out, and I'm supposed to forgive him, and he you know he didn't know no better. So like. No, so every time I ask him to get out, he asks the, asks the fool, and like he don't want to get out. I'll be like, nope, I'm calling the cops. Like, I never had to call the cops. I never had to do this kind of shit. And so I'm like, okay, f I'm gonna just call the cops. You know, so most of the time I, I, I threaten him or frighten him, but I don't really call him. But I'm like, shit, I gotta call him because he's staring at me and shit. So boom. Okay, so I called him, whatever. Before they coming, obviously, and then he start packing. Shit and now he, I don't want you, you fat, you, you a government, you gonna be on government assistant. Don't ask me for shit, you. Now mind you, same pattern. Last time it was he hoped me and the baby get R A P E D. Like why would you hope I get R or the R word with your baby in me? You are an evil spirit, bro. You evil. Like, because you did wrong. You literally did not have to download the app. You knew it's unacceptable. You knew that was not allowed. You knew that I would get mad if I see that. And then this is what you do and say to me because I'm reacting to something you knew you, sh you should have known better about. Like, eh. like, nah. so, she is losing it. I don't even, I shouldn't even 
post it because then he get, I feel like he gets an enjoyment out of this. One minute, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I feel bad. Then it's not hot. Then he's telling me, oh, I'm gonna f the car up. Like, just everything just to make me just lose. And y'all get a baby, it pisses me off when I get birth to a baby. It's just please, yo. And nobody understand. Everybody want to pressure me to stay here. And I knew I wanted to go back to Texas. I knew it. I knew this wasn't going to work out. But no, it is coming from the my mom. I don't talk to her in three to four weeks. My sister. Stop listening to them family members that don't know what you're going through. Me and Honey Sauce were just talking about that the other day. Some moms will settle for a man even when they put their hands on you. Like, uh, no. Like, my what are we... <laughs> Not just putting the hands on her, though. Cheating. Like, uh, diabolically. Sister, I don't talk to her. I ain't gonna lie. No. She need to get her shit together, though. As far as, like, she just seemed boring as hell. Like, boring, lazy, don't want to do it. Like, he, he's clearly turned off. Hell, this is people who pressure me to stay here and I don't even talk to none of them. And I feel like I have nobody and I have two weeks, bro. Like, oh. Mind you, I'm crying out of anger, okay? Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I gotta go out there and make sure he don't touch that f car. I don't give a about the car okay like honestly that's the least of my f worries because what the f <laughs> but honey sauce the falcons is playing the panthers <sighs> honey sauce honey sauce don't give a damn but <laughs> okay so oh, i'm just saying if it's here i want to go <laughs> dying with him so i'm telling him like bro nah you gotta get out the house oh like I don't even, I shouldn't even post it because then he, get, I feel like he gets an enjoyment. Work out, but no, it is coming from the, my mom, I don't talk to her in three to four weeks, my sister, I don't talk to her, and now, this is people who pressure me to stay here, and I don't even talk to none of them, and I feel like I have nobody, and I have two weeks, bro, like, oh, mind you, I'm crying out of anger, okay, kiss my ass, so, now I gotta go out there and make sure he don't touch that f car. I don't give a f about the car, okay? Like, honestly, that's the least of my f worries, because what the f? <laughs> but I don't know. I wanna go. I, wanna, I can take, go. I mean, once I lock this door, it's not like you can get back in, because I had the key. But I'm probably gonna go in my car, just probably go do some work, make some money or something. I don't know. <sighs> I'm stressed, but I'm not stressed, but I'm stressed because it's like, bro, you were just a disappointment. Like, you're just a disappointment. Like, why? And then, mind you, he just got me a tablet. He want to be funny and take it back. Take it back. I don't care. I don't. It's not no biggie, honey. Honestly, I can make that money tonight and go give me a tablet. <laughs> you really want me to How can she make that money tonight? Nick, hurry up in the next video. Oh, y'all are sick of it. You want to go if it's here? See if it's here, baby. See if it's here. This is just... Mm -mm. Y'all, marriage ain't easy, It starts in 40 minutes is the problem, but... It damn Matter sure fact, shouldn't I can be. look. Let me get off this video for y'all, because I know y'all sick of it. Y'all been sick of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. I was just trying to uh, give it a chance and, you know, see what else happened, because I knew she was going to keep talking. But um, if y'all want to update, let me know. Um, I just want to do it live because they sick of it. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.